So the last video I talked to you about the angular momentum number and I told you that there was a degeneracy associated with it. So we always have 1s, 3ps, 5ds, 7fs. Well, we also have, because we have so many orbitals of the same energy but different shapes, we have to have a quantum number to specify which one we're in. This is what's called the magnetic quantum number represented by m sub l. So if we were looking at this in terms of addresses, this is going to be the house or that apartment if you're working with apartment complex. But basically you have in your principal column number specifying the city, state, and zip code. You have your angular momentum L specifying which particular street you're on. This is specifying the house or the apartment number. Basically it's telling you which specific house on that street you're dealing with. Magnetic quantum number can take on values between minus L and L. So if L is 0, ML has to be 0. If L is 1, ML can be negative 1, 0, and 1. If L is 2, we can have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So the only rule is we have to take on an integer value, bound it by the values of L. Why do we do this? We have three P orbitals, so I'll draw them out. PZ, PX, and PY. Which of the three are you in? This is what your magnetic quantum number is going to tell you. Now, the assignment of PZ, PX, and PY, whether the P orbitals align along the Z, X, or Y axis, is purely arbitrary. So we could say this is minus 1, 0, and 1 for our ML value. Or we could say that this is 1, 0, negative 1. Or we could say that this is 1, negative 1, 0. It doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. The only thing your magnetic quantum number are really doing is telling you which of the degenerate orbitals you're in. Now, for an atom sitting in space, this has no effect on energy. It doesn't matter whether you're in zero, negative one, or zero. This only matters if the atom is bound to something. So let's say we had an atom sitting over here. Only the px orbital is pointed in a, position, in a direction that would actually be affected by an atom sitting there. So only in the case where you have periphery atoms, or you have atoms around the central atom, does the magnetic quantum number actually begin to affect your energy. But in general, your magnetic quantum number should have absolutely no effect on the energy of your orbital. So basically draw them as all equivalent energies.